How are you guys? My name is Hector Fonseca, I am from We Are Gamers and today we are going to review Fortune Street for the Wii, which is a game that has no storyline or plot. And the characters are actually from the Mario Saga and the uh, Dragon Quest Saga as well. One of the things that you first notice when you play this game is that it doesn't have the nunchuck and it, you use the, uh, the Wiimote horizontally. You really don't use a whole uh, Wiimote at all, like it, it's supposed to be, like uh, the whole wireless thing. You kind of don't use it at all, which is kind of like a downside of this game. Uh, with regards to the graphics and the sound, the graphics are your typical Mario type of graphics. You don't ba buy this game or rent this game because you want to play like Halo, or Bioshock that have amazing graphics and you kind of want to, you admire the detail. Don't buy this game for that. The sound is... It was okay. It was not bad. It was, it, it was your cheap, the cheap sound that you buy like a, at a discount store from across the, uh, the street or something. It was not good. I mean, it was okay. Just let's just put it at that. Games that are quite similar to this is Mario Party and Monopoly. Mario Party because it has kind of like the same feeling as Mario Party, but the gameplay is more like Monopoly based. Um, how is this game set up? Well, the way this game is actually set up is like Monopoly. Literally, it's the same thing like Monopoly. You have a board that you go around when you roll a dice. Uh, the only thing different about Fortune Street is that the board actually changes when you go to different levels. And you also can buy stocks of the property that you invest on. Therefore, uh, you can do insert, insert trading, which you can make money out of that. The way you actually win this game is that in every board they have an, a certain amount of money that you need to make to be able to win the game. When you win, when you get to that level of money, you have to go back to the bank and, and I, I go to back to the bank and then you win the game. One of the things about this game is that when you're playing it, it's actually quite funny. It makes you kind of believe that you're like in a stock market and you know your shit and then, then you are like this deep thinker that you need to like strategize which is one of the great things about this game is that it's a lot of strategy in both it's not monotonous like monopoly which it's one of the reasons why i kind of love this game is that you need to be strategic you need to think a lot and it makes you feel like you're like a in wall street and you're one of, you are one of the big cats for like a little like for two hours and a half that it takes you to beat this game the only cons about this game that I personally have is that it's too long and that this is more like an adult oriented type of game. I don't recommend this for kids because it will get complicated unless if that person likes math and science. Go ahead, you will like this game. Therefore, I believe that Fortune, this Fortune Street is mostly a rent type of game. Just because it's a game like Monopoly that you will not be playing it all the time. Therefore, it's better you get it out of your system and I have to say it's a rent, unless that if you're a geek, a math geek like me, then buy it. Otherwise, it's definitely a rent.